Emily's getting her shoes on. What are we doing, Mom? We're gonna go do this. Where are we? Sunset Point. Sunset Point. So we had spent the day in Bryce, and we got to Sunset Point, stop number 11, and late in the afternoon, and we found a hike. Where are we about to hike? Navajo Loop. Navajo Loop. 1.3, we're going down and deep. We weren't going to do it, and then we so decided to do it. So we're going to do it. 1.3 miles ain't nothing for us, right? Sure, we've never hiked down into a canyon before, though. Ain't scared. So we hiked the entire Navajo Loop Trail, and I time-lapsed the whole hike. So the next five minutes, I'm just going to kind of walk through the hike. So you, would, we, we were at the top, we had did not intend to do this hike at all. And we looked down and we saw these people hiking and we're, I, I got on my little trail map and then we saw this part and our jaws just kind of dropped as we hit these little switchbacks that went down into this little canyon. Um, so I mean, you're literally right at the beginning of the hike and you're doing this little awesome thing and you there's a little cave here you have to go through and then there's a bunch of little switchbacks and it was just awesome I mean we were we were already kind of blown away because you would get down and look up and you would see you know the the kind of the red rock with the blue sky we were there during sunset and it was just it was just pretty awesome and then we're keep going narrower and narrower <laughs> down into this little slot canyon really and I guess it fills up with water when it rains can't imagine it wouldn't and there's trees growing in the middle which was awesome just big giant trees just kind of growing up out of the middle of the nowhere um, and you just keep going down and keep going down until you get out of the actual slot canyon but I mean you can see I mean I, I took tons of pictures and we were just basically looking up the entire time thinking how pretty it was and, and it was so then you're down in kind of the canyon part of it and you're kind of walking along a creek bed at that point and it was a pretty the elevation was I mean, it was a pretty pretty big drop that you would hike down into and then of course you have to come out of that on the other side so at that point you're down in the in the bottom part Now I, about right here, I realized, I used Strava, and I realized that I had not turned on my Strava. So I actually did that right here. My trail, I use a trail app, and it said it was a mile and a half loop, and it gave the elevation. Now when I turned my Strava on, it I, it was another 1.2 miles from where I started it, and we had already done half the trail at that point. So I'm not, I'm not sure which was right. I wish I'd had my Strava on the entire time, but I didn't. But we use all trails, so you can kind of go on all trails and look this trail up, and it's a pretty highly rated trail. It's a short trail. It's, it's ranked moderate. Um, it's not a terribly hard trail, except for coming back out. I mean there's there's an obvious elevation I mean right here you're starting to go back up um, and it's not straight up or anything you you still have little things to stop and see like that there's this rock that just kind of sits in the middle there just a, a very interesting I mean, it's like you're it's like you're on another planet almost I'd never really been in a landscape like this before with all the red rock uh, that was kind of in those the hoodoos or whatever they're called um, it just looked like any of them could crumble down at any time so then you start going through the switchbacks on the way back up I'm not in terribly good shape I'm not in terribly bad shape but it's just a really interesting view as you're going up you can look and I do it with the camera several times I look up and then I look back down you can kind of see where you're headed and where you're 
where you've been and looking back down into the into the kind of the the canyon that you're walking up it's just it's really awesome now on the back side you come out and you can then kind of see over the amphitheater a little more and we were there during sunset so you know it was the sun was kind of beaming off parts of it and then it was the rest of it was in shadows uh, we stopped and tried to get a we stopped and tried to get a photograph uh, a nice hiker helped us with that it was hard to do because of the shadows we didn't have the right camera equipment so I mean be sure to pack a you know major lighting outfit on your <laughs> Navajo loop trail hike and then you're done you're back up at the top and wrapped up okay so we just hiked this Inspiration High Trails over there, that's where we went. And then over there is the Bryce. What's crazy is when you look over here to see from over there, it, it's not anything like, like you don't expect it to be anything like that, where you can get down in there and walk around oh, and stuff. Yeah, that's right. It's crazy. Unexpected. Didn't expect to do that. But was it worth it? Yeah, that's one of my top 10 things I've ever done in my life. Top 10 things she's ever done in her life. Number one on that list, though, is... Uh, meeting you and marrying you. Marrying this guy. Not really. Yeah. What? <laughs> Savage. Uh, Savage. <laughs> now, what was your favorite part? The hike, the Navajo Trail. Navajo Trail and, at and Sunset Natural Bridge. Point. You like the natural bridge area. So but we it wasn't started, as cool as the Navajo Trail. Oh no. We didn't know that trail that we the Navajo Trail was there, but we saw some people down there and we thought we would do that. And it wound up being the best thing we did all day. So you never know. I still think Hermit's Peak is probably my number one hike of all time. But that was that was awesome. So I'll leave you with a few pictures that we took. This hike was stunning. I mean, absolutely stunning. It When we left Bryce that day, it was our number two, it was my number two hike of all time. Uh, the only one that beat it was a mountain that we climbed. And this was way prettier than the mountain we climbed. It was just a mountain is kind of epic and, you know. Um, now, this got beat by, when we went to Zion, uh, we hiked the Narrows at Zion and it was, that was a pretty epic hike as well and i did a video about that as well you should go check that out other than that enjoy the pictures